Do you sometimes have the problem that you can't land your first shot properly in CSGO Valorant? Well, Rapid Trigger might be just the solution for you. But before we can dive into Rapid Trigger, we have to know what an actuation point is and what it exactly does. So actuation point is pretty much the point where you press the key in and it registers to the computer. So most common switches have an actuation point of 2.0 millimeters and a bottoming out of 4.0 millimeters, which means you have to press the switch halfway till it actually registers to the computer. So let's take CSGO for example. So if I'm gonna press the key also slightly, you can actually see I'm not moving at all till I actually reach the point of 2.0 millimeters, which is halfway. So if I go halfway, you can actually see me walking. So that's pretty much the actuation point. So let's say we're bottoming out the switch right now and we're slightly putting less force on the switch. It's not resetting at all because the switch only resets until it reaches its actuation point. So if I go halfway once again, it stops. So you could pretty much just imagine the time it takes till you get to the 2.0 millimeters actuation point might cause delays. But of course, because we have an analog keyboard from Wooting, we can actually change the actuation point from 0.1 millimeters all the way to 4.0 millimeters. So you'd say, hey, let's change it to 0.1 millimeters. Now my keys are super responsive. So right now the switches are really responsive to the point it activates. So 0.1 millimeters is just slightly just pressing it and it's already activating. It's really responsive. Wow, how fast is this? But there's one problem to this. So let's say you're bottoming out your switch, which a lot of people actually do in shooters. It takes 3.9 millimeters till your switch actually resets again. So it takes a long time till your character stops walking again. And this is something we wouldn't want. We want to actually reset the switch instantly when we let loose and instantly when we press it in. And this is pretty much where Rapid Trigger comes in play. So let's enable this beautiful feature and save it to the keyboard and let's get inside of CSGO. So right now we have Rapid Trigger enabled with the 2mm actuation point and we shouldn't be seeing any movement till we hit the 2mm mark. So right now we press it in and nothing happens till we hit the 2mm mark and we walk again. So now right now I'm bottoming out and the fun thing about Rapid Trigger is I just have to release it very very slightly in order to let it stop moving and then I can press it down and move again. So let's see how it does. So we release, we stop moving, press again and we're moving again. Stop move stop move stop move so now you can actually spam it till it actually hits the two millimeter mark and then it's reset again as you can see so now i can hear it clearly okay sander we do not want it to be deactivated at the two millimeter part but i do want it activated at the two millimeter part for this we can actually enable under the advanced settings continuous rapid trigger and we're back in the game again and now we still have to press down the button for two millimeters in order to activate as you can see we press down slightly and two millimeter passed and we can go but the first thing with continuous rapid trigger is you actually can release it like the regular rapid trigger but you can also go past as you can see the actuation point and you can still press down and you still be moving even above your actuation point so with normal rapid trigger it already stops but with continuous rapid trigger, it actually keeps on wiggling above the actuation point, which is nice. But we can step it up a notch. We want faster. Well, you get faster. So if you go back in the utility software, we can actually change the actuation point to 0 0.0 millimeters. So now we have everything set to 0 0.0 actuation point, And now it is just spamming. You just can do anything you want. It's just... Boy, it's fast. It just immediately actuates and deactivates. It's just, it is just as fast as a keyboard just simply can get. It's awesome. So in conclusion, basically Rapid Trigger makes your keyboard insanely responsive to the point you can immediately land your first shot without any delays. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, please let them know in the comments below or send us a mail at social at We are always there to help you out there in need.